Be nice. Oh, that's a no brainer. Okay, so okay, so here, college stage. Oh, well, look at you. I, I don't want you know. I don't want to rush that at all. He's five. I have thirteen or fourteen more years until he goes to college. If he goes to college, that's his choice. Obviously, he's super super bright though. Like I mean, he knows everything about space. He knows how to add. He knows like math. He knows how to. He's reading at like I don't know fifth grade level. Like he's he's just very very bright. Sometimes for too much for his own good because he gets super annoying. But all kids are at that age. So as I was saying to you guys, as long as it's twenty two. Oh geez, okay, yeah, right, exactly. I you know in mod. I I don't want to think about that time because it'll as much as you know having you know, empty nesters and that. I'm sure it has benefits, but I'm sure you miss when your kids were were little. Uh, I think everybody does, unless your kids were real big jerks, <laughs> and then you don't. Oh, uh, so as I was saying, so some people here ask about Victorian standards. I know in the Discord it's asked all the time. Do you lose patience when you're sit, when you're when you're do you lose patience if you're serving them over the counter area like the divide? And the answer is no. Unless it's been fixed, it uh it is not. But it's a two hundred it's a two hundred percent card. Um if you're playing in a group and you're not serving diner style like this, the way you would set your tables up, I just want to show you guys real quick, is you'd have your tables set up like this so that only the tables that are facing away from you or to, like, you know what I mean? As long as the people are sitting away from you, you can stand here and the people won't see you. So, uh, so which is a good thing, uh, by the way. Because otherwise they will see you and then that will be a problem. Just a little tip, little tip for you guys. All right, so we got our grabber here, which is gonna be awesome. So I am going to redo a little bit of this. What do we got here? Uh, 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 and what's this one? Why do we two? Oh, we got a hob, okay. So this is going to go in here. No, this is going to go. I'm very much okay. I just want to. I'm at, I'm at day 13 already. I don't care. Okay, I don't want to re. I don't. I do not want to redo all of this. Um, just for right now. I'm going to think. I'm going to get rid of the phone. Let's put it back here. I'm not using the phone. I'm not using the bin. Um, this can go here. This one can go here. This can go here. This can go here. This can go here. I know I'm kind of walling myself in here a little bit, but that's, that's, that's fine. Uh, this wrap mixer is kind of irrelevant. What is here? This is fine. And then what else did we get? This is fine. These are just irrelevant. What these are going to be. So actually, it's, I want... Um, I'm going to put this one... I just want to grab this. That. Just because this is a filler. That's just it's going to be a filler. Um, oh, actually, oh no, I didn't need to do that. Why did I do that? That was so dumb. Because this isn't upgraded, neither does this. Ah, it doesn't matter. Well, it's all good. So now we're pretty automated, right? We're, we're, we're doing pretty, pretty good. I'm still going to look for a conveyor belt uh, to help with this a little bit more. Otherwise than that, I think we're, we're set to uh, at least still live with you. That's okay, though. No, I mean, well, okay, I shouldn't say empty nester. Hey, Alan, nice to see you. Um, I know a lot, a lot of more kids, a lot more kids or adults these days live at home because the cost of living is just ridiculous compared to even 10 years ago, 15, it's, it's just insane how expensive, depending on where you live, you live in a city or wherever, rent is like ridiculous for like a, a one bedroom. And then you have, you know, utilities and like, if there's room in your house and they're like not a burden for them to be there and they chip in with bills and have jobs and or go to school, whatever, Hey, fine. You know, it, it, it's it's good, you know. Um, Some of the help shovel snow <laughs> if you live where it's cold. Um, no, Alan, I'm not going to ring because I have three blueprint desks. <clears throat> and by the time I get through all of these a cycle, unless I get three things right away, there's no point to ring. And I really don't need an extra, like, eight coins, ten coins. It doesn't, it's not going to matter at this point. That's good. I'm glad to hear that mod. Perfect. Um, uh, nine customers again. And to be honest with you, I'll move my mouse out of the way. Having the double ordering has not been a big deal. At all. Oh, so we finally got a discount desk. These are both rapid mixers, which is fine. Like I said, I wouldn't actually need to do that. I don't know why I am doing it, to be fair. Mm -hmm. A little bit of double, a little bit of that. Ooh, messes, messes, messes. Hello, Alan. Hey, you're the first one in. The first one, or, or the, the latest one in. You're the first one served. How about that? 
you want a double? Of course you want a double order. Why wouldn't you? So at this stage, the prep station is kind of pointless. Um, you know. I mean, it's fine. It's just kind of pointless. They would be frozen preps, maybe, but I mean, the speed of the mixer is kind of like, it negates anything a frozen prep would do. I'm going to buy this. Because I am having mess issues still. And I don't want to have mess issues anymore. Alright, a little bit of that, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. A bit of this. Alright, we got four. Ooh, boom, conveyor. Awesome. So after tomorrow, day 14, now, Alan, call me. You're going to end up calling me a liar here because I'm going to end up choosing this and I'm going to be sitting here waiting for people to come. <laughs> Not a liar, but uh, call, me, call me out there a little bit. Yeah, hey, thanks, Nia. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. It feels so silly. I'm looking at the windows asking why it's raining. It's the game, it's the game right? It has, I mean, I mean, I don't know if my sound is up too loud. I don't think so. But yeah, it's raining in game. I hear it too, right, in my earphones. With this, once it becomes like December and it can't rain anymore, I'll know it's 100% in-game sounds. Ah, oh, Soul wants double ice cream. Come on, buddy. I would order that. If I'd have a double, if I'd have an ice cream choice, if I'd have to get three scoops, I would order that. I would order a double vanilla. I say vanilla. A double vanilla and a chocolate. Because I like chocolate, just not too much chocolate. Um, Hagen, is it Hagen Doss, maybe? Puts out a kind called... I don't know, it's like, there's two different ones. One is like a vanilla ice cream that has, or maybe it's the brown, it has brownies and cookie dough pieces in it. And that's so good. I think it's haagen right? But it's like so, it's so fattening. It's like, oh my God, I, I'll eat like a pint of it at a time and I feel, I don't feel bad afterwards. I'm like, this is good, but it's like, ugh. I couldn't eat that every day or every, I just couldn't. It's just, it's just way too much for me. Lock, lock, come on, dude. Locks back because he has a bell. Locks is back to have double orders. Where are you, Lock? Where are you? Oh, maybe it was from before. Wait a minute. Is it from before? Interesting. I didn't think it kept it from before. Hmm. I guess I'm wrong. Hey, we learn things new every day, don't we, in this game? Oh, um, Alan, it does. Here, I'll show you. Um, here, I'll just pause it real quick for you guys. It's under, uh, nope, it's under options, accessibility, and then, um, on. See? There it shows up now. I don't need it because I'm, well, I'm not colorblind, um, and I don't, so that's how you turn it on. It also does that for steaks, too. I think it, no, is it steaks? I think it does, yeah, because it does, um, R, M, W, or something like that. I mean, I'll just leave it on for the rest of the run, it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, it's a toggle. It's a toggle. Which is good. Yeah, steaks. Yeah, because it steaks your... The the, 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 excuse me. The steak doesn't look physically any different. There's different shades, but yeah, if you're, if you're colorblind, or partially colorblind, I could, t I could see how it'd be really difficult to, to choose the two. And the ice creams, I think, almost look identical. Um, like, I, I I'm not colorblind, so I, don't, I know there's different levels of, like, complete colorblindness, or you can't see, like... I don't know, red or something like that, right? I think that's how it works. I, I don't know. I'm just speaking out my butt here. But, um, oh, bowling's in one ice cream. Of course. You want double ice cream? Probably. You can have double ice cream. C, 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 triple C. Okay. I'm going to turn it off just for me because it does bother me because I don't, I don't need it on and it bothers me having the letters there. But it is used, it's like, it, it, it is very good if you need it. Put it that way. Rain like that there, yeah. Hey, thanks a lot, Mud. Thank you for stopping by. It's much appreciated. Always nice seeing you. And thank you for the continued support on YouTube and everywhere else. Ice cream... Ice cream... What is an ice cream smoothie, though, Alan? Are this an ice cream a smoothie kind of in general? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, discount's going to stay in there. I'm going to buy that. Upgrade this. The question is, do I want to re-roll anything? I think I do. If I turn that that way, I can sneak through this. Can I sneak through that? There. I'm going to re-roll because I have one, two. I have five blueprints and I have, I really don't even need a discount desk. I don't need a copy. You know, I'm going to re-roll this too. 
I'm going to re-roll this because I don't, I don't actually, I don't need this. I don't know why I even kept it. I honestly don't remember. I don't know why. Uh, I just don't, I don't need it like at all. There's no point to keep that. All right. We have what now? One, two, three, four, we have six. Six is a good number. Oh, heck yeah. Look at this. Look at this guy. We're buying this because why not? Boom. <laughs> now again, it's like, is that necessary? The answer is no, because this is going to go all over the place. Root beer floats. See, root beer floats. I'm not a huge fan of that. I don't like mixing. Okay, so here we go. I'm not sure where you guys are from. Where I grew up in Pennsylvania, eastern Pennsylvania, near Philadelphia, rural Pennsylvania, there was a guy that came around, I think it was like every other Monday or every other whatever day of the week you, you were scheduled for. His, it was called the Schwann Man, S-C-H-W-A-N-N. -N. I guarantee if you Google that or something like S-C-H-W-A-N-N, -N, maybe, uh, like rural Pennsylvania. So he would come around, and then every week he'd give you like a pamphlet or a, 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 t like a ticket, and you'd, you'd have like a book. This is before the internet. There was no internet, so you'd have like a catalog or whatever. And it was a frozen truck. It looked like a... The size of like a um, uh, like an ambulance, just taller, right? Think of an ambulance that had was just nothing but frozen freezers. Like you open the doors on the outside, and you could pull things out. And the point I'm getting at is like I love the showman because you get tons of like you get these frozen deep dish pizzas, which were like the best ever. You get um, soft pretzels. It's always frozen, fresh soft pretzels. And they had this thing. He had this thing called a root beer float bar. So it was on a stick. It was vanilla ice cream inside. And it was like dipped in like root beer flavored, like a coating. But the coating was like a quarter of an inch thick. Like it was so thick. It was like I loved that as a kid. And I don't know where you could buy anything like that anymore at all. But oh, I love that. I, w I wish it'd be something that existed here because I'd be all because all the frozen foods. It was it was so handy for like you know putting pizzas. Like I love deep dish pizza. Like the little, they were maybe like, I don't know, six inches. I don't know where you even buy them at these days. They had pepperoni, the little pieces of pepperoni, like chunks. Oh, childhood, right? That's that's the stuff I miss not living down home anymore. Um, I don't miss a lot of things, but that is that is one of the things that I, oh, shoot. That's one of the things that I miss is like the Schwann man, which just sounds so stupid. <laughs> it's not like the man. It's like the, the idea behind it is what I miss. Uh, uh, I don't want. I don't want to put anything that upgrades. So I'm gonna put this in here. I guess the bin upgrades. Oh no, uh, these all upgrade. Doesn't matter. Um, I'm, whatever. I'm just gonna leave it alone. I'm not gonna mess with it too much. So we have the robot here, who's just gonna do its robot thing. It's gonna go all over here, which is um, actually. Uh, I didn't really help. Ah, uh, blocks in a little bit. I can't, you can't go through that, can it? My dad would always get stuff from when I was from. Oh, awesome! Hey, Addy, nice to see you. Are you from? Oh, Dana, where are you from? Not you don't have to give me like. Are you guys from where I grew, like in Pennsylvania, or is that like a more than just regional thing that I have no idea about? Oh, Texas. Okay. Oh, then maybe that's a national thing, because like back in the day, back in like like ninety two, ninety four, you know, back in the early nineties, in the eighties. I didn't know it existed anywhere else. I thought it was just there, like just where I where I grew up. That's awesome that you guys know the Schwann Man. I love the Schwann Man. Yeah, it's not okay. It's not stupid. It's, it's just silly. It's like I can't wait for, you know. I, I'd love to have that there. Like just the food. I'm getting the catalog, and then what you would do is like the next order. If you weren't going to be home, you you'd fill out the ticket, like the number and what it was, how many you want, and you'd leave and you put it on the front of your door, and you put money, cash or check in a little baggie on your front, like on your porch. And he'd come there. He'd he leave the frozen things, you know, out front. You you knew when he would come because he would like he'd run under the next date. He would leave these little stickers that were like I don't know half an inch, and it would have a, have like a, and you put it on your calendar, right? I mean, this is before cell phones, back calendars, of course. And you'd like leave the money out there, and he'd just drop the stuff off, take the money, and he would just go. <laughs> it's like what a concept, right? Wally and Jeff, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, welcome, welcome. How were you guys? I have to do all my own shout outs tonight because I'm going to do a little bit of that and we're going to do a little bit of this at Wally and a little bit of that. Yeah, we're doing 
Oh, you were doing, you were doing Raft tonight. Awesome. How did Raft go? 2004. Yeah, I'm thinking like 20 years, like a long time before that Addy. But it was awesome. I love that. I love freaking... Like, I... Because it's so convenient. And like, I've, I haven't... Awesome. So is there... So Wally is... And Jeff, welcome in, you guys. And welcome in Raiders, by the way. Uh, I'm Ontario. Uh, we're, we're, we're dabbling through played up by talking to chat, talking about the Schwann man and like 1987 and like <laughs> how things are so much better back then. It is then about having older kids and younger kids and everything like that. So Wally, is this the last of like the new content? I'm assuming yes. Cause there was added what, like a couple new areas and you guys finished. I'm assuming that's what it is. Right. And Jeff as well. I think Jeff is here somewhere. <laughs> there we go. Oh, butt spot. What the heck, butt spot? <laughs> You're crazy, butt spot. Uh, anyway, yeah, so awesome. Told you above my memory of Schwann's. Oh, sorry, Dan. I must have missed the chat. Oh, Missouri. The Flintstones. Are those the ones that came in the circle? Like, they look like toilet paper tubes that had a plastic thing on top and you push the like. Is that what you're talking about? If it is, I love those. I'm not sure if they were Flintstones where I lived. Like, but they were that's what they were like it was like it looked like a toilet paper tube that size and you push it up from the bottom and on the inside it like on the inside of the stick it had this like plastic disc and that's how you push it. and the wrapper on the top would like peel off sorry dana is that what you yes <laughs> you know what i don't think i've thought about that in probably 20 some years so thank you the game is done finito <laughs> what are we doing by the way we're just freaking just screwing around here uh, that. Doing nothing important. We're just talking to everybody. We're having fun, hanging out. Oh, good thing I upgraded that first, because that's exactly what I wanted to upgrade first. I don't really need anything at the moment. I guess I don't need anything. I don't know. Uh, I need a walk, though. That would be helpful. Alright, Jeff. Here's where I get in trouble, guys, by the way, because I end up moving too fast. You'll, uh, you'll understand that. I'm gonna get that, too. I mean, it kind of negates the the buffer, which is fine. Oh, those push pops, man. I haven't... What else am I missing? For some reason, I'm, I'm thinking like French bread pizza. Is that a thing from Schwann Man? Unless I'm thinking of that from, from somewhere else. Freaking Schwann Man. Good times. I should ask my mom. Um, not that I get down there very often, which... Well, I was down there once since COVID. Or, yeah, once since... Um, I think I was down in December of 2019 and I was down in um, May of this year and that was it because of COVID and everything like, the borders were shut down so while he comes in off a fresh fresh game of raft wants double ice cream really while I come on bro I want man double ice cream guess you need that much of a sweet treat after the the rafting business oh no that was not good Uh, da, 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 da. I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna take all these because why not? Why not? So these are just coming in. I did a a miserable. Fa hey, thank you, Buffer. I did a miserable failed hot dog run. It was pathetic. I'm not sure what we fail on day 12 or something. It was so dumb. The cards were just terrible. Because of course I have to complain about something, right? Fucking Schwan, man. Uh, next time I talk to my mom, I should ask to see if the Schwann man's still there. So the next time, I, I, I want to go down. Um, I don't know when. They're planning on coming up um, in the end. Uh, Neen. Or Nee. Nee. I should call, you, is Neen fine? I never actually asked you how I should, what I should, how I should pronounce your name. Nee, if Neen is fine, I'm going to go with Neen. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, I'm going to call her up to see if the Schwann man's still there. So I'm planning on, they're planning on coming up. Um, at the end of October, I thought they were gonna come up sooner than that to visit the me and the me and the family. But like, oh no, we'll do the end of October. I'm like, all right, you can come up literally next week if you want. They're both retired, so there's nothing keeping them at home. And um, I'm gonna ask if the Schwal. I gotta try to remember. So remind me, guys, if I forget, which I will. Next stream, I'm gonna be back on Wednesday after t after tomorrow. So for those of you <laughs> who are here. Remind me about the Schwann man. If I don't bring it up, remind me about the Schwann man. So I'm going to forget. I know I'm going to forget. Because if the Schwann man still exists, I will um, see if they can bring me some stuff. I mean, you can put it in a cooler. It'll stay fine. It's, it's, a, it's like an eight, nine hour drive. 
they usually take around nine or so hours. They always stop for lunch where they cross the border at Buffalo and Buffalo there. Uh, where uh, Monica, Monica, if you're watching, that's where they they stop at the Cracker Barrel. You probably know where that is, just outside of Buffalo. Um, but anyway, point I'm getting at is, I'd love to be able to get some of that food again. I don't know, not even for nostalgia, just because it's good food. I mean, I don't know how healthy it is, but it was fine for me. I don't know. My strong bones, except my back. My back is shot, so. Maybe you contributed for back problems. <laughs> Obviously did not. Alrighty. Neen, okay, cool. You only had ice cream trucks. Yeah, where I grew up, well, okay, I, grew, I didn't grow up in a city. Nicole, I grew up very rural in the mountains, Appalachia Mountains, Pocono Mountains, Pennsylvania, right? So ice cream, ice cream man or ice cream truck didn't make any, did not, would not make any sense because how would you, you'd have to go door to door to people and that kind of, it just wouldn't make any. It just wouldn't make sense, I guess, to do it. Is this what I'm getting at? Oh, you can go here, my friend. Uh, all right. So, what are we doing, by the way? Um, oh yeah, we're fully automating this. Um, so I have to mess this up a little bit. Okay, I think it's actually how much time is it, by the way? It's 11:13. So I have. To, I want to get one more day out of t out of this, and then we're probably gonna call the night because it is getting a bit late. Um. Yeah, I'm just. I'm not gonna re-roll anything. There's no. There's no point to do this. I want to franchise this. That bugs me though. There we go. Uh, that way, and this way, and that way. And then this can go right here because it doesn't really matter. We're not upgrading anything. We're just gonna run through this day, get it knocked out, franchise it, and then uh, rock and roll. We got ten. See, okay, day fifteen, ten customers. Easy, easy mode. As long as I didn't screw up somewhere. Which jury's out there, of course, right? Yeah, we're good. All good. Oh, online. I should actually... I did... Dan, I actually did that a while ago. I looked up online. Um, excuse me. Then I totally forgot about it. If there's any sort of... Um, uh, like, uh, deliver, like food delivery. Now, there are fresh... Like, fresh food delivery places like... Um, hmm. What would they be... What is called up here? Oh, come on, Rena. Um, like where you order groceries from and they deliver it. I don't remember the name offhand. There's probably a couple companies at this point that did something like that. Um, but I don't think they do frozen foods because it's not like a frozen... No, it would have to be a, a chilled truck. Hmm. Good question. I don't know. Something to think about. But anyway, what I'm getting at is I should try to find like where I can buy like Mini deep dish, mini deep dish pizzas. I love those. Like in the oven, I mean, you can do them in the microwave, of course. But the oven, obviously, I don't have a toaster oven. I just have a, I just have a regular um, oven. Uh, I should I should really look that up. Because there's a few grocery stores around my area that I never go into. I just don't go into them. I, I go to one that's more local to me. That's literally five minutes away. I spend more money there because it's more expensive because it's a smaller place. But to me, it's worth the extra money, so I don't have to go into a big store where I have to stand in line for 30 minutes to check out. Um, I mean, I'm fortunate enough that I can say something like that and do something like that, because it's like, ugh. I hate lines. I hate lines. That's why I don't like going, I don't, I don't like amusement parks. Too many people and too many lines. Just, I hate lines. <laughs> That's why you drive it on the highway, it's just you're waiting in line. Little bit of this, little bit of this. Right, 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 right. Myself wants a double O. Double O. So, in hindsight here, we could have taken the meat card. I would never order that ice cream bio. I would never order double chocolate and, and strawberry. I would never do it. Nope. I don't like strawberry ice cream. I like, um, I like raspberry. Like a black raspberry, I guess, ice cream. Um, local place where I grew up called Lawn Acres. They make, they still do. They make their own ice cream in-house. And they do this raspberry, and it's like the best ever. And that was back. You can you can buy it um, like in containers, like in a, in the freezer, or you can buy or you can get it like hand dipped, which you want to always get a hand dip because then it's you know it's fresher. Um, doesn't matter what I take here, and um, you could buy a gallon of ice cream. They would. I'm not sure if they do it anymore, but you used to be able to get hand dipped ice cream like like. Uh, like a pint or like a quart worth, and they would hand dip it and they put foil over top of it, and that's how they give it to you. It was just very, like, I don't know. 
old school style, which again, I, I say that a lot about, about a lot of things because it's true. It's awesome, man. Awesome for me. All right, how many customers do we have? We're almost at the end of the day. We almost franchised this. Man, this is easy mode. Easy mode. Catherine wants double ice cream. No problem. Karu is the last customer because... Oh, you want to... Oh, come on, man. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, Karu. You're going to want ice cream. Please get ice cream, though. All right. Last customer of the franchise. Wish I could give, like, extra ice cream like that. You just won't take it, though. Alrighty. Awesome. You know where what is. Oh, sorry, Neen. You know where, know where what is. Raspberry and orange. Oh, yeah, the orange push pops. Yeah, I just don't know if they have it up here, Nicole, right? Like, I'm not, I'm in Canada, so I don't think, because Schwann never existed up here, as far as I know. Uh, you know where what is, Neen? I'm sorry, I'm, I must be missing something. Oh, rural Pennsylvania. Okay, that's probably what you're, what you're, what you're getting at. Uh, okay. So, now with with a lot of people, if you reach franchise, I'm going to explain it for those who are maybe new and whatever. Here is, um, oh, the Cracker Barrel. Oh, are you fr are you near that area? Are you in from in? Are you never mind? You already no, you didn't tell me. Dana told me in New Hampshire. No, Missouri. There's so many new people. Um, I, I apologize. There's so many new people in here tonight, which is super awesome. Seeing tons of new faces, but I always forget where everybody. <laughs> I forget everything. Um, be the Cracker Barrel in Buffalo. It's right off of Route 90. Uh, it's like right off there. So if you know where that is, you might know the town called. Oh shoot! What's it called? Oh darn it! Um, there's an Arby's there. There's an Arby's there. It's on Route 90. It's a town. That's gonna bug. I'm gonna have to look it up. Shoot! It's 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 uh. It's about three hours from me. I always stop at Arby's. Okay. So anyway, I'm gonna get back to the story. Go back to the Arby's. I wish we what the heck that freaking town is called. Off Route 90, there's a town. A couple miles in, they have an Arby's there. Anyway, so variety and catalog. So variety basically means when you franchise, when you play tier one, you have to pick another dish to come with you. Um, it doesn't give you any reduction in customers or any increase in customers. Catalog is, I'm going to choose catalog because it offers an additional blueprint. So every day, instead of getting five blueprints, you're going to get six. It is 30% increased customers, but if you look at it, at the end of overtime or the end of franchise, we have 11 customers. So I'm going to actually just going to show you the cards that we have. Uh, our cards, we have stir fry. All you can eat is 30% reduction, which is, which is good. And then the other ones... Right, so we have 45% reduction in people, um, technically 60%, but the stir fry, all the one, all of them have 15% in the beginning. So like, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, from, from honest with you guys. Um, I don't think I'm going to keep going with this run just because I don't know how we would fail, which sounds very arrogant. I saw how we would fail. Like this is the most casual run in existence. There you go. How about that? I think that was pretty good. Oh, awesome. Dana, yeah. Uh, well, the last time I streamed, because I only stream two nights a week right now. And I, unfortunately, I forget people. Um, that's the problem. Um, especially because I like I like interacting. I know a lot, some people don't interact with chat a lot. I, I try to interact and read every message. And thank you. Hey, Joe, nice to see you. I'm going to have a little water. I try to interact with everybody, and, and we start getting on a topic, the show man, and kids, and bartending, and all these things, and it's just everything just jumps in my head. Um, but yeah, I, I, I forget literally everybody, Dana, don't don't take it to heart. Yeah, well, actually, at the end of the day, you guys see my face, I don't see any faces, but yeah, I see lots of names, um, and expected, oh, I got it, expected, yeah, that's a hard word to type. I used to be really good typing, like, like on a keyboard, back before cell phones existed, I was very good at typing very fast with very little mistakes. Like very good, like uh, without making mistakes. Cell phones ruined me because you've autocorrect. Not everything, for some reason, my phone has learned that when I start to type tomorrow, it spells it with a capital T, T-O-M-M-R-O-W-W, -W, or something like that. And I always had to go back and fix it. I don't know how you can do that on smartphones or an iPhone. How do you go into somewhere where it does like autocorrect and change a word 
to something. Can you do that? Is that a thing? I'm very dumb when it comes to like that type of technology. I have, I have no idea. Uh, I'm just going to start the day. Um, so you can either start the day and fail or you just hit abandon. And we're going to go back to the main screen. We actually get to choose our cards, by the way. That's all right, Dana. It's all good. But but so serious, it's not it's not predictive text. I have predictive text completely cleaned, like taken off. So maybe that's not what I'm, what I'm talking about. It's like when I type, there's nothing above like the keyboard where I can choose words. I don't have that on. Is that what you're referring to, or something different? Okay. So I got so clear the keyboard memory. So I just got to Google that some somehow. Well, not somehow. This is actually. I'm gonna hit level twenty three. <laughs> Barely. That's it. again. Once you hit level fifteen, levels are irrelevant because you don't ha you don't gain anything new. You gain nothing new because the contracts that are like higher levels aren't in the game anymore or aren't in the game right now. So it doesn't really matter. Okay, so um, I think I'm gonna get rid of that. This is gonna be a very very easy start to a franchise run. Now, one thing that that's not listed on these cards is the, is the the player. Reduction or increase. I know that's one thing that's been mentioned in the suggestion part of the Discord. I don't know if it's going to be implemented on next patch. I hope it or update. I hope it is because right now you can't tell what gives you what. Right? It's like, well, what does this give me? Fifteen percent? I don't know. Does this give me fifteen percent? I don't know. It'd be nice if it tells you to make a better decision on what cards you actually want to take. Um, I know this is thirty percent because that I was the last card I chose. Right. Based on your phone, remember how you use words. You have two words. Use my phone. There's a meaning that I use. You fix not and nots both. Ah, thanks, plus pot. Your phone. Re oh my god. Okay. So I can go into my options or my settings or something for that. Okay. So I'm gonna franchise this anyway. We're just kind of dilly dallying here. Oh wait. Never mind. That's the one I wanted to do. I was just okay. We're good here. I have 29 franchises. I almost have 30. Some of these are these aren't in any particular order, by the way, because they're just not. Uh, because this is the last one we just did, and it's actually listed. Where is it even listed at on here? Where is it? There, no. I think it was this one, right? Because I didn't rename it. Yeah. So I actually have Walk Me Through It. So I have All Rise. This is one that me and Cranberry did a long time ago, where we have um, Soup. Prawn Shop, Thanks a Brunch. Some of these unnamed ones are early ones. Uh, this is another one, a franchise one. These are all, this is, in, this is a full side and um, starter. So you basically have like one customer here. This is a good card too. The high tech suppliers or high tech suppliers. Yeah, and then we have a couple here. Pizza, Fishy Fishy. Like these are not any, they're not in any order, which I hate. Second Helpings. That's an, I don't know why it's called Seppi Helpings, because that's kind of refers to eating twice. But anyway, we're not going to do any of that. It's all good. I meant to tell you, I recently subscribed to your channel on one of my accounts. Oh, well, thank you so much, Joe. Much appreciated. <laughs> right, Nicole? Um, so I have a little bit of... Actually, you know what? It's 1130. I'm going to actually open up... Let me open up uh, Twitch. I was going to do something after this, but it's, it's getting too late. And tomorrow's first day of school. The baby's always up literally like like 6.30. So I'm going to be up at 6.30 or whenever the time is. Uh, I'm going to fire up a raid. Let's see who I want to raid tonight. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to see Daniel Floss. I want to see how far. Daniel Floss is someone who I've... I want to see how... All right, they're at day eight, so they're fine. Um, is there anybody else? I thought one of my other friends was on, but they're not on tonight anymore. They must have went to bed. <laughs> they must have went to bed. Um, so yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna. I was gonna set the raid for for dental, and then we can we can keep chit chatting here for a minute. Uh, oh, I'm so close actually. You know, I was looking. So um, looking at my my quick action thing. So my follower goal is actually is it is 450. I'm at 448. <laughs> I'm so close. I'm so close. So I'll do my I'll do my spiel. If you're new to the channel, consider leaving me a follow or a subscribe. It is um what is it called? Uh, it's called September. So you actually have th up to thirty percent su new subs. Uh, I'm just reading it off of the the Twitch thing. Up to thirty percent. So it's really good. So you get actually a uh, discount. I'm not pressuring, just stating that it exists. If you watch anybody on Twitch, you're going to see the same like 
thing at the bottom of their channel about September, so that's awesome. Talents, thank you so much for the follow. Now we're at 240. No, we're at four. Oh, actually, I was at 446. Not 448, sorry. We still have three to go. Eight, nine, and, and ten. It's all good, though. Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me. Uh, this has been super fun. Thank you for, for the raids. Wally and Jeff, you guys are still hanging out here. Uh, for the math quiz, all the redeems, the subscribers, the new followers. The new, I love seeing new people in here. Even if you're lurking, thank you for lurking. Lurking is perfectly fine. I like lurking. I lurk a lot. Um, can you copy your franchise? No, you can't. Um, you can't. Uh, if you could, that would be really OP. But actually, it wouldn't be OP because it wouldn't be OP. Um, the only the only thing with franchises, I'm going to go back to that screen real while you guys can see it, is people have asked, if you guys are new to the game as well, thanks, Dana, is if you play a franchise and you lose, you're done. If you franchise a franchise, so any of these franchises will be technically tier one. If I franchise that tier one and then lose or abandon after day 15, that becomes a tier two and you then can come back and play it. But if you if you fail a franchise run, regardless of what tier it is, the franchise is gone. It doesn't revert back to the, <clears throat> excuse me, it doesn't revert back to the previous like tier. It doesn't work that way. So if you're playing a franchise, make sure you're you're planning to play it the whole run. Like the like from when you from day one to day fifteen. Don't come if you only have a, like a, like a half hour to play it. Because if you lose, you're not focused. The whole franchise goes away. Especially when you get up to the higher tiers, like four, five, six, whatever. You'd hate to lose all that progress because you couldn't play or you or you know you, you just weren't in the right mindset. So that's a little tip. You can do whatever you want, of course, um, mind you. But uh, that's a little tip I have. Which is why I don't do franchise. I like playing fresh runs because you guys get to see the game from like the start, from day one, and I explain how I play every time. So anyway, I'm gonna set up the raid. Uh, yes, thank you, Talents, for the uh, for the follow. I'm still a couple away. I'm sure I'll get it. Uh, you don't get anything at 450. It's just my next goal. Uh, I'm sure I'll hit that over the next few days. All right, so we're gonna set up a raid for Dental Floss, who's also doing played up. He plays with with his Oma, which is his grandmother. I'm going to pull it up on my screen a bit here. And I'm going to set that up right now. Thank you, Lady E3204. Lady, thank you so much for the follow. I'm going to start the raid. And we got about 10 seconds. We can chit chat. And then I will um, I'll hit the button. Might be it's probably 10 seconds. So, yeah, guys, this has been. This has been. I haven't. Yeah, or quit. Yes, yes, Joe. If you quit, it also saves your game. But if you come back and play a different game, it erases. So, it's a good idea to play out your run if, if you can. If you can, if not, then quit. Don't abandon. Thank you, Joe. Um, you guys have been, it's been so awesome. Like I don't do solo runs very much. Uh, and when I don't, I don't get to talk to chat as much as I did tonight. You guys have been super active. It's been super fun. And I will be back on Wednesday um, at nine o'clock Eastern. If I'm back on tomorrow, it'll be around the same time. I don't know if I will be. It all depends how the night goes uh, with everything. But again, if you're following me, you'll get the notification. If not, you can follow me on Discord. Um, the link is in my, my channel bio or, uh, what do you call it? My about page. But, uh, anyway, let's go over and say hi to dental and, um, yeah, we're going to get this set up and I'll see you guys guaranteed on Wednesday, but possibly tomorrow. And by the way, as a tip here is I love playing played up. Thank you so much, Dan. I much appreciate it for, for all the support is I probably going to be getting back into playing world of Warcraft. Maybe, maybe not. So if that's something you guys like, or you just come in just to chit chat. I love just chatting with all you guys and playing World of Warcraft. We can chat all the time. So, all right, let's go see Dental. I'll catch you guys on Wednesday. Thanks a lot. Super, super fun. Much appreciated, guys.